GST reporting is an essential feature of any business process, and the setup of financials plays a key role in the linkage of general ledger accounts, payables, and receivables. In the accounting manager role, a number of GST related statements can be produced at the click of a button. If we select the BAS setup preview from the ribbon, we can see the different allocations for GST and taxes in our subledger. The subledger of GST in financials contains the option to choose from before and within the period and access to both open and closed entries. The functionality of having a subledger for GST and the ability to include GST entries from prior periods differentiates financials from most other accounting softwares. This ledger also balances back to the general ledger. Close this preview. If you select the BAS calculation sheet from the ribbon, we can set this up as a monthly or quarterly calculation in the card view. For this demonstration, we will use a monthly calculation. Select Update from the ribbon and specify what GST entries we want included. Click Preview and the BAS report for the month will appear. Close this view. Furthermore, we can select our GST Purchase Report and GST Sales Report from the ribbon. Select the GST Purchase Report and filter between the 1st of January 2014 and the 1st of January 2015. We also have the ability to export this to Excel. Click Preview and various invoices to vendors will appear. The GST charge for each invoice is clear to the user. The GST percentage, GST amount and total purchases are the most useful to the user, where the GST product posting group defines the GST charged per order. Close this preview. Select Report from the upper ribbon and more GST related reports will appear. For example, select the quarterly GST return and click Preview. The GST amounts for various posting groups and different GST percentages are transparent, as well as the total GST payable at the bottom of the GST return statement. Close this preview, and you're done.